So go ahead and just find a comfortable position. In Shavasana, Baddha Konasana, you guys know the drill, whatever's comfortable. And just allow your body to settle onto your mat. If you're on your back, just allow the weight of your body to just melt onto the floor. And if you're in a child's pose, allow your knees to be wide and hips to sink back towards your heels. And then from there, take a long, slow, full inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, just sigh it out and let it go. And do that again, slow, full inhale. Keep breathing in, keep breathing in. Pause at the top, see if you can hold it there. And then open your mouth and just let that go. Keep exhaling, allowing that body to either melt onto the floor or again, if you're in child's pose, hips sinking back toward the heels. Good, two more deep breaths, just like that. Long, slow and full. So my quote for you all this morning is not actually a U2 quote, but we'll, we'll sprinkle them in throughout. This is something I saw earlier this week that I really liked. It says, a great deal of the chaos in the world occurs because people don't appreciate themselves. A great deal of chaos in the world occurs because people don't appreciate themselves. And I know we can probably all agree, there's a lot of chaos in the world right now. So let's go with this quote and try to just appreciate yourself for who you are and give yourself this hour to do exactly what you need. Be totally selfish for 60 minutes of your day. Maybe even longer if you can. And I was looking for fun YouTube quotes. I'm just gonna share one. I know you all are gonna know this one. And John, sorry you're the only male on this class today, but it says, a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. One of my favorite YouTube quotes. Okay. Anyways, go ahead and set an intention for your practice today. Maybe more about one love. That's the song I always love from you two. One more breath there. Where is it? Sorry, I was looking for something. Let's go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze, one hand on each knee. Draw the knees toward your chest. Allow your hips to lift up. Take a deep breath here. And then take your knees wide. Rotate your ankles around, going in both directions. And then kind of like a happy baby, just rock from side to side, but hanging onto your knees instead of your feet. And then bring your thighs together and make some circles with your knees going in one direction a few times. And then go the other way. And let those knees fall right as you extend your left arm and look over your left shoulder. One more deep breath here and then switch everything up. Knees go left, gaze goes right. And then come on back to center, just release your feet to the floor. We're gonna set up for a moving bridge or a dynamic bridge. So the feet come towards your hips, press down in the feet, lift your hips up, stay here and really scoop that tailbone under so you can lift the hips, gaze is straight up at the ceiling, and then reach those arms up over your head onto the floor. And while you're here, see if you can press down a little more in your feet, scoop that tailbone under, take a big inhale, lift your hips, press down to the floor, and as you exhale, everything comes back down. Your spine, your hips, your arms. And then inhale, do it again, lift the hips, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale, everything comes back down. Two more. 
Make it feel good. Thighs stay engaged toward the midline like you're squeezing your yoga block between your thighs. One more time. This time, keep your hands on the mat and just lift your hips. Hug those thighs inward. Press down in your feet. Scoop the tailbone under. Allow your legs to get a little fiery here. And let's bend the elbows. Have your fingers up toward the ceiling. As you press down in the elbows, notice your hips are going to lift a little more. Two more breaths right here. And then as you exhale, bring your spine back down to the earth. Draw your knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. And we're going to rock forward and back. So come all the way up. Round your spine and come down. Just do that a couple of times. So we're going to pause here and just see if you can keep your feet floating off the mat. Maybe arms at your sides, maybe legs extended. We're not going to be here long. Most of our core work today is going to come from planks and side planks. So get excited. Relax your shoulders. If you need support, your hands can be right behind your back. Hold it here a few more breaths. Two more. I'm shaking. I don't know about any of you. <laughs> One more here. And then release your feet down to the floor. Just come in a cross-legged position. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Right hand down, left arm up and over your ear. Oh, yeah. I've got one love playing now. I hope you guys do, too. On your next inhale, both arms reach up, look up. And take a side body stretch the other way. Inhale, come on back up. Switch the cross of your legs. Other one in front or on top, however you're sitting. Left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, look back over your shoulder. So as you're sitting up tall, draw your belly button toward the spine. That will give you more room to twist. And look back. One more breath. Come back to center with your gaze, switch the arms. Inhale, grow tall, exhale, twist back. Couple more breaths, keep growing taller. Belly button draws in and twist a little more. One more time, just like that. Bring that gaze forward. Hands are gonna come in front of you. Come on to your hands and knees. And then from here, all we're gonna do is walk your feet back to plank. So plank pose, shoulders over your wrist crease, creases. Look down at your hands. They should be spread out on your mat. Your wrists are facing the front of your yoga mat. Walk your feet back long. And then engage your quadriceps, your core. You're pressing into the floor and just breathe here. Crown of the head reaching forward as your heels are reaching back. Three more breaths right here. Two. And this time as you exhale, let's slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Take your time. Always an option to drop your knees. When you make your way to the belly, hug the elbows in. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower. Let's do that two more times. Maybe lift a little higher each time if that feels okay in your body. One more time. Let's hold it here this time. Allow the shoulders to slide down your back and then gaze over your left shoulder. Nudge that shoulder blade down the back if you're tensed up. And then look over your right. Come on back to center. One more breath. Exhale, lower down. Tuck those toes, press into your hands, find plank. Lift your right leg off the mat. This is an option, you don't have to follow. You can stay with both feet down. Bring your right knee to your right shoulder. Inhale the leg back and lower it down. Inhale the left leg, hold. Left knee, left shoulder. Send the leg back. Lower it down. One more time on each side. Inhale, lift the right leg. 
right knee toward the tricep or shoulder. Inhale, send it back. Good, exhale, lower it down one more time. Inhale, lift the left, left leg. This is how you modify, you drop a knee. Left knee to the left tricep. Inhale the leg back. We meet in plank. Two more breaths. And then exhale, slowly lower chaturanga. Finish your vinyasa. Inhale, lift up for cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Settle into down dog. Listen to your body right now. So if your back is feeling tight from your work week, maybe you're sitting too much, take your feet wider. If your hamstrings feel tight, bend your knees. Nothing wrong with bending your knees. You can still get a nice lengthening in the back of your body. If you wanna take your dog for a walk, just pedal those feet out, bending one knee at a time. And then let's look forward, travel to the top of your mat, take as many steps as you need to get there. And when you do hands on the shins, inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, fold. Do that again, inhale, look forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up to the sky, look up, reach up, and as you exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up. Super long spine, slowly hinge and fold forward over your thighs. Full exhale, you should still be exhaling. When you begin to inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank, hold it here. So we're either gonna hold plank or if you wanna add in Chaturanga push-ups, you can add those in here too, or stay in plank pose. Two more breaths or two more chaturanga push-ups. Together, let's all lower down to the belly. Finish your vinyasa, cobra or up dog, making your way to downward facing dog. Take that right leg up behind you, bend your knee, open the hip. So try to stack the right hip over the left. If you look under your left arm, you should see your right foot hanging out over there. One more breath, and then reach that leg back up and lower down, switch it up. Inhale, left leg up, bend your knee, open the hip. Press firmly into both hands, couple more breaths. Inhale that leg back up to the sky and lower it down. Inhale, look forward, walk or float the feet to the top. Inhale, look forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, ride the breath all the way up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward, full exhale, don't rush it, take your time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump or step back through your vinyasa. Pause and down dog. One more full breath and at the very bottom of your exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Make your way into chair pose, Utkatasana. Drop those hips, sweep the arms up. Scoop the tailbone under. Lift all 10 toes off the mat and help shift the weight into your heels. One more inhale, just reach the fingertips up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back and lower chaturanga. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna take a big step forward with your right foot. 
We're setting up for warrior one. So you're gonna to wanna to toe heel your right foot to the right, spin that left foot flat and don't go away yet. Look back, your right foot should not be in line with your left. There should be space. Now sink into this right knee, draw that right hip back and then rise up. Keep hugging the right hip in. Arms are up, shoulders are relaxed. Even your toes are relaxed. So check in with those right toes and your left. The lower ribs hug in. And you should feel an action like you're ripping your mat, trying to separate it. Your right foot's going forward, your left foot's dragging back, but your sticky mat holds you in place. One more big inhale, reach up. As you exhale, your hands frame your right foot. Step that foot back, take your vinyasa. Left foot steps forward. And we're gonna slowly set up again. Toe heel the left foot, spin the right foot flat, hug your left hip in. And when you're ready, rise up. You're gonna sink into the knee, draw that hip back and press in the outer edge of your right foot. I forget how good you two is. I'm loving every song that's coming on. Stay here a couple more breaths. One more big inhale. As you exhale, hands come down. Step back, take your vinyasa. I was 15 years old when I saw you two in concert. They were awesome. Stay here and breathe. At the end of your next exhale, look forward, walk or float your feet. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, Utkatasana, sweep your arms up. Stand up, we're gonna find a big back bend, big circle of your arms, and then hands to your heart. Come right on back to chair pose. We're gonna flow through the sun salutation B. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, plant your hands, jump or step back through your vinyasa. When you make your way to down dog, take a breath there. And at the bottom of your exhale, right foot steps forward. Spin that left foot flat. Inhale, rise warrior one. We're gonna move with the breath. As you exhale, your hands come right back down. Step back, take your vinyasa. Inhale is your back bend. Exhale is down dog. Take an extra breath. Left foot steps forward. Right foot spins flat. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, hands come down. Step back, take your vinyasa. Pausing in down dog, we're gonna do that one more time. Right foot steps forward when you're ready. You can move on your own. Connect with your breath. Come right back down with your exhale through chaturanga. We'll do that one more time on the left side and then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. So next time you get to down dog, just stay there and breathe. Reconnect with your breath, with your intention. And you quiet that chaos in the mind right here with your breath. At the end of your exhale, walk or float your feet to the top. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, chair pose, sweep those arms up, stay here. Just take a twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Can you lift all 10 toes off the mat while you're here? Come on back to chair, arms reach up. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Toes stay lifted if you can. Inhale, back to chair. Drop your hips a little more, a little more. And then stand up, circle your arms, lean back, open your heart. And then bring your hands to your heart, close the eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths right here. 
together, big inhale through your nose. This time make a noisy exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Open the eyes, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward. Make your way back through your vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. So we're gonna take your right leg up behind you, bend your knee, open your hip. So we're gonna bring that right knee to the left tricep. So cross it over, we're gonna stay right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin your left foot flat. So spin that foot flat. See if you could then take your right foot and kind of connect it to your inner left thigh and reach your left arm up. So it's a variation to your side plank. So you're pressing into your right hand. Now to modify, you just drop your shin. So you can take it here or you can keep that foot connected. One more breath, but don't go away. You're just gonna bring your left hand down. Don't change your legs. Left hand down, now switch it. Go to the outer edge of your left foot. And now you're in a regular side plank that you're probably familiar with, which you can modify however you want. But this right hip, lift it up like you're being pulled up towards the sky. One more breath. Your right foot's gonna come to the top of your mat. So bring your right hand down, step that right foot forward. So if your foot kind of doesn't get where you want it, grab it, move it. So set up for a runner's lunge. From here, spin your left foot flat. We're gonna rise up warrior one. So come on up. Please connect that outer edge of your left foot with your mat. So press back with that left foot. You should feel your left leg get a little fiery. Lace the fingers behind your back. Your hands are gonna slide down your left thigh. Open your heart, gaze up. And while you're here, just notice which thumb is on top, mine is my left. So notice, because I'm gonna have you switch it up next time. Come forward and forward fold, humble, humble warrior. Crown of the head is down, right hip, hug it in. Breathe fully here. So from here, stay where you are with your body. I'm just gonna have you release your hands to the floor. And then you're gonna walk your arms forward to the side like down dog. So you're pressing into your down dog arms, your head can relax down, your legs are in a humble warrior. So draw the right hip back. Your right knee is still over the ankle. Press into your hands. If this doesn't feel good, you can come back to a traditional humble warrior. One more breath. And then walk those hands back in. Come on to the ball of your left foot. We're gonna lift up to warrior three. So again, you have your blocks. You can take a modified or you can bring hands to your heart. We're gonna come up to standing. So ground down in your right foot, go slow. Keep your eyes focused in front of you. Lift that left leg. We're gonna place the left ankle on your right thigh, figure four. So you're still standing. I want you to flex your left foot. I want you to press your left knee down and then as you focus your eyes, bend your right knee. It's basically a one-legged chair pose. We're staying right here. Flex the left foot. Keep that leg active. So we're gonna be here a few more breaths. Where we are going next is half moon pose. So just think about that. How am I gonna transition from here? All you're gonna do is bring your right hand to your block and send your left leg up and back. So two more breaths right here. And then bring your right hand down or maybe you float it and this left hand can come to your hip. You're gonna peel the hip open, flex that left foot. I'm gonna hit my wall, my head on the wall. Okay, so we're flexing this foot, reach the left arm up. Your right hand should be under your shoulder, outside your right pinky toe. Two more breaths right here. You're gonna bend your right knee carefully, gracefully. Step back, warrior two. And then sink into your knee. Big stance here. 
So if you have long legs, like John, I know you do, use the full length of your mat. I'm not so blessed with long legs. We're gonna gaze over the right hand. I want you to spread all 10 toes out on your mat. So lift them up and kind of fan them back down on the mat. Sink into the right knee, press on the outer edge of your left foot, and press this right knee toward the pinky edge of your right foot. A Lot of action going on here. You can even engage the uh, biceps and triceps. Hug the muscles toward the bones. Can you sink a little deeper in your, in your right knee? I knew you could. You might even be able to go a little deeper. Don't cheat yourself out of these poses. Inhale, reverse, reach up and back. And then come on up, right forearm to your thigh, left arm up to the sky, stay here and breathe. Maybe arm over the ear, maybe a half wrap. Do what feels good in your body today. You might wanna take your hand on a block. Come on up to warrior two. Straighten your right leg. Reverse the triangle, reach up and back. Come on up. If you wanna shorten your stance, now is the time to bump the left foot up. We're gonna reach and then right hand down, left arm up. And again, go explore your body, what feels good with that top or bottom arm. You want more core work, float the right arm. Couple more breaths right here. Enjoy this triangle pose. Should feel so good. If your arm is wrapped behind you, go ahead and reach it back up to the sky. Let's come on up from here. I'm gonna have you take your left foot. You're gonna turn it out a bit. We're gonna come into skandasana at the back of your mat. Skandasana, you're sinking into the left knee. You might want your hands on the floor for support. This right foot's gonna lift up. So ideally you're coming all the way down like this. That might not work for all of us, especially if we've got knee issues. So you might have your hands on the floor, holding yourself up. That's fine. Do what works for you, be nice and kind to your body. This right foot is flexed. Remember, you can have the hands on the floor, you can have your hips lifted. So where we're gonna go from here, this is the fun part. We're gonna go from skandasana into warrior two. So we're here, we're gonna open up, ooh, warrior two. Isn't that fun? Stay here a breath, we're gonna do it again. Come back to Skandasana, lift that right foot, hands to the heart or the floor or the blocks. Be careful, we're not rushing through it, stay here. One more breath, and then use that leg strength to open up warrior two. Breathe right here, so nice. One more breath right here. We're gonna windmill your hands down to the floor. We're gonna come into standing split. So your right foot shouldn't go anywhere. Left leg goes up to the sky. What do you wanna do with your hands? Options, handstand hops, one or both hands to your ankles, hands on blocks, the floor. Do whatever works for you. With that left leg, try to kind of square the hips so we're not opening it up like a half moon pose. So we're going to be coming soon into um, Shiva squats. So if you're taking your handstand hops, meet us back here in standing splits. One more breath, and then bring your left knee behind the right, get low. Now, if you wanna challenge your balance, hands at your heart. Hands down, leg goes up, straighten that right leg. Ooh, big inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat. We're gonna do that one more time. Hands down, send that leg up, big inhale. Shiva squat, get low. This time, left foot is gonna step off your yoga mat. So your right foot is straight, it's facing forward. Hands come up to the heart. So it looks like this. This left elbow comes across hooks and you press that right palm down into the left and you send that right hip back. Your heart is opening to the side. 
Can you sink a little deeper in your knees, getting really deep in that bend? Two more breaths right here. Firmly press the right hand down. Suck your belly button in. One more breath. And then hands down, left foot next to your right. Forward fold, let that go. Shake your head out. Take your feet hip width distance apart. Peace fingers, grab your big toes. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your elbows. Pull your torso gently toward your thighs. Knees can be bent here. Sitting bones going up towards the sky. Shake the head out, yes and no. Let go of muscular tension in the neck. song I have on right now is get out of, of your own way. That's such a great message, right? Get out of your own way. Carefully release your toes. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees. Drop your hips a lot. Reach your arms up chair pose. So options, stay right here. Lift your toes, drop your hips, challenge yourself to be still in your chair or drop your hands and take crow pose. Hands come down. I like to come onto the balls of my feet so I can get my knees really high up toward the triceps and then play with your crow. Now, uh, there's some other options you can do with your crow. Crow is like easy peasy for you. Try sending one leg back, an ekapada bakasana. You can also come from crow into a headstand, headstand back to crow. That's always a fun way to challenge your balance. So I'm gonna give you guys about five or six breaths to kind of play. Again, you're welcome to stay in a super long chair pose. That's hard to do. So you could drop the head, come into headstand maybe. The hard part is coming back to chair. I'm sorry, back to crow. We're gonna end up meeting in down dog. So when you're done playing, just make your way there and find downward facing dog. Big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, get noisy, you're on mute. Be noisy, let it go. On your next inhale, send your left leg up. Bend your knee, open the hip. Press firmly into both hands. Bring your left knee to your right tricep. So come forward to plank. Bring that left knee to your right tricep. From here, spin your right foot flat. You're going to put that left foot into your inner right thigh and reach your right arm up. Modification, you drop that left shin. You're trying to float that left knee off the mat. Two more breaths here. Then you're gonna bring that right hand down, come onto the ball of the right foot and spin now to the outer edge and bring that left arm up to the sky as you lift from this left hip, lift it up. You're firmly pressing into your right hand. You're reaching up through your left arm. Can you gaze up? One more breath. Left hand down, left foot to the top of your mat. Step it forward. If it doesn't get where you want, just move it. Spin your right foot flat, setting up for warrior one. Hug the left hip in and then rise up. Settle in. Lower ribs, hug them in so we're not doing this. We're not sending the chest forward. Spine is long, shoulders relaxed. So remember a few minutes ago, I asked you to think about what thumb you had on top. Okay, so now you're gonna switch it up. I had told you guys my left one was on top. So put the other thumb on top, sink into your left knee, and then allow your hands to slide down your back thigh. Your heart is just opening up toward the sky. One more big inhale. Come forward, find your long spine first. Reach forward and then humbly bow. You're looking back to the right foot. You're hugging your left hip in and your breath is long and fluid. The song on right now is, it's a beautiful day and it is. 
It's a beautiful day here today. No smoke in our skies, yay for that. Let's release the hands down, find your down dog arms. Press into your down dog arms, keep hugging that left hip back. Breathe here, make this feel good. One more breath. Walk those hands in on each side of your left foot and then come onto the ball of your right foot so you're in a lunge. We're gonna lift up to warrior three. So decide where am I gonna go for? Hands on blocks, hands at the heart. Right foot is super active. Toes are down to the floor, even that pinky toe. Round into your left foot, rise up. You're gonna bring that right knee in front of you. Give it a lift. And then place the right ankle on your left thigh. Your right foot is flexed, your right knee is pressing down. And then have a seat. You can modify using your blocks. But you, we all should look the same in the legs, okay? Your right foot is flexed. This right knee is energetically pressing down toward the mat. Two more breaths right here. Remember where we're going next, half moon pose, left hand. Bring it under the shoulder, a little to the diagonal of that left pinky toe, maybe right hand to your hip as you reach up and reach back through that right foot. Ultimately, the gaze is up. If you're feeling off balance, keep your gaze neutral or down at the floor. Energize your right leg, really flex the toes. One more breath and then find your inner ballerina and get super graceful as you carefully and gracefully step back, warrior two. Left heel in line with your right foot, sink into that knee, gaze over your left hand. Breathe here. So Steve, every time you sink deeper in the left knee, can you press more on the outer edge of your right foot? So try it, sink a little deeper, press a little more. Sink a little deeper, press a little more. And then feel that opposing action like you're ripping your mat. And then reverse your warrior. Side angle pose when you're ready. Find an option that feels good in your body. Couple more breaths. Come on back to warrior two. Stay here. Straight that left leg. Reverse your triangle, right hand on your back thigh. Reach the left arm up and over your ear. And then come on up. Left arm reaches and comes down to the shin, the ankle, whatever you want. You can take the big toe hold with the peace fingers if you like. Reach that right arm up. And then maybe arm over your ear. Maybe a half wrap. Maybe you float your left arm if you want a little core in here. Inhale and come on up. Okay, skandasana is next. So we're gonna turn your right toes a little to the right. We're gonna sink into this right knee. Hands at the heart or on the floor. Listen to your body. Okay, this is not my good knee. So I gotta be careful. I can't let my hips come all the way down. I might need some support. So listen, left toes, flex them. Keep your muscles engaged so we don't harm ourselves and go too far and pull a muscle. Stay here and breathe. Two more breaths right here, and then we get to use that leg strength to find a warrior two. Are you ready? Big inhale. As you exhale, ooh, warrior two. Stay here and breathe. On your next inhale, come back, skandasana to the back of your mat. Hands to the floor, the blocks, the heart. Breathe here. One more breath, and then warrior two. Open it up. Oh, yeah. Stay here. Windmill your hands down to a runner's lunge. 
Your left foot stays planted, right leg goes up to the sky. You decide what you're doing with your arms. If you're not sure, try different things. Try not to do the same thing all the time. That goes for if you're the kind of person that pushes yourself to your limits every time, don't do that either. Maybe you use your blocks today. Give yourself the break it needs. On your next inhale, can you reach up a little more with the right leg? And then bring your right knee behind the left. Shiva squat, get low. You can play with your balance if you want. And then send the leg up. You can keep your hands on your ankle and not even go to the floor. And then come back, Shiva squat. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, standing split, send the leg up. Shiva squat, get low. Step your right foot off the mat. Hands come up. This right elbow comes across, hooks to the left knee. Take that twist. Left elbows up to the sky, nudge your left hip back, suck your belly button in, and breathe as you press your left palm firmly down into the right. Can you find space in this pose in your body? Two more breaths, maybe a little deeper in the bend in your knees. Yes, you can, just one more breath. Release your hands, step your right foot next to your left, and fold. Let that go, ah, shake it out. We're gonna come right into the chair this time. So bring your feet together, bend your knees, sweep your arms up, Utkatasana. So get low, tailbone, scoop it under, toes lift up. Keep dropping those hips. And just like we did in that warrior two, as the hips go down, the arms reach up. The hips go down, the arms reach up. Stay here or Play with your crow pose. If you tried Ekapada Bakasana on one side, try the other. And if you fall, your foot's gonna come right down to catch you. That happens to me all the time. I used to be able to do this. And then I lost the core strength. I can't do it anymore. But you send the leg back. Ugh, I can't do it. We're gonna meet in down dog. That's hard. Oh. I always blame my kids for core, core strength. They ruin my abs, right? They stretch us out. <sighs> Take a big inhale through your nose. A letting go sigh out the mouth. So I'm gonna give you about five breaths to rest. Down dog or child's pose. You pick, give your body what it needs. Two more breaths. We're gonna end up meeting back in down dog. So if you're in child's pose and you'd like to stay longer, stay longer. It's fine. If you're in down dog, stay there. We're gonna walk or float your feet to the top of your mat. When you get there, inhale, look up halfway. Exhale and just fold. With the long spine, inhale, rise to standing, reach up, look up. Exhale, the hands to your heart. Find Tadasana, mountain pose, arms at your sides, feet or hip width distance apart. Just close the eyes. Find, find some neutrality in your body right here. Just notice, or am I leaning more to the left or the right? Find a neutral position. From here, we're gonna set up for dancer pose, Natrajasana. So we'll start with the left foot down. Your right hand's gonna come to the side and grab the inside of your right foot. And then bring that knee down. So your right knee is pointing down toward the floor. Now this is called stork pose. If you wanna stay right here, you can stay right here. Left arm's gonna reach up to the sky. If you wanna come with me to dancer pose, I'd recommend a small bend in your left knee and then that equal action that we've been doing in poses, you do a lot here. You reach forward and with the same energy, you kick the right foot into your left hand. And you reach and you kick and you reach and you kick. It's, this is a standing back bend. So I see, I see when I used to teach live, I would see people do this pose and it looks more like a half moon pose. Don't do that. It's an upward back bend. So find that standing back bend. 
Think about that curve in the spine. Couple more breaths. If you've fallen out of it, just come back into it. We're gonna meet back into Dasana. Slowly make your way there. Again, find that neutrality in your body right here. Shoulders relaxed. Equal weight into both feet. And then we'll set up on the other side. If you find your little wobbly on your yoga mat, people like to step off the mat onto the floor as well. So you could try that. So the hand grabs the inside of the left foot, right arm reaches up. Bend your right knee a little bit, and then find that equal action, reaching, kicking, reaching, pitching, kicking. Your gaze is forward in front of you. Two more breaths. Keep kicking. Find that upward back bend right here. And then carefully come on up, release that, come back to Tadasana. From here, just reach your arms up to the sky. Right hand's gonna grab hold of your left wrist. Give a nice side body stretch here. You should feel nice and warm. You might be able to go deeper than you normally do. If you need more support, hand can come to the hip or the thigh. Gaze up to the sky, roll the shoulder open, and then come back up, switch it up, go the other way. One more breath here. Inhale, reach both arms up, and then exhale, hinge and fold forward. We're gonna step back to plank, and just pause here. Press the floor away from you. We are going to lower to the floor very, very slowly. So I want you to use control. Engage the muscles in your legs. Engage your core. And we're going to lower in a count of five. So take an inhale and start to bend the elbows in five, four. You can drop your knees at any time. Three, two, and one all the way down. So nice. Make a little forearm pillow at the top of your mat and just rock your hips from side to side. So we're gonna set up for locust pose. We're gonna take those arms behind you, tops of the hands on the floor so your palms are up to the sky. From here, press down in your hands, lift your chest and lift your feet. If it doesn't feel right to lift your feet, keep the tops of your feet down and just work the upper back bend. Use your gaze and your breath to lift you. Two more breaths right here. Energize your legs, your feet, your toes. One more breath. Make that forearm pillow, bring your left ear down. Bend your knees, windshield wiper, the legs. Come back onto your belly. I want you to keep your left forearm in front. Right arm is gonna to reach to the outer edge of your right foot, different, different than a dancer pose. So we're gonna press down in your left forearm. You're gonna kick the right hand into your right, I'm sorry, kick the right foot into your right hand. Your leg is gonna lift off the mat, maybe, maybe a little, not gonna to lift too much. It might not lift at all, but you're still pressing into your left forearm and kicking, pressing, kicking. One more breath, release that. We're just gonna switch it right up. Bring that right forearm in front. Left hand grabs the outside of your left foot. Press into the forearm, kick into the foot. Oh my gosh, I did it wrong again. Kick the foot into your hand. Kick and press, kick and press. One more breath, can you lift up a little more? And release it down, right ear to the mat. Windshield wiper again. So we're gonna do one more back bend. You're probably guessing where we're going. If you don't like where we're going, guess what? You don't have to go there. You can do whatever you like. Maybe you wanna just stay here and rest. You can repeat your locusts, maybe with your wings behind you. Otherwise, bow pose, grab outside of both feet. But before you do anything, your knees should not be splayed open. Bring your knees facing the back of your yoga mat. You're, you're gonna kick 
your feet into your hands. As you do that, your chest is gonna lift. Maybe you lift the thighs off the mat, maybe you don't. Doesn't matter. Just take a few breaths here. This is a tough pose. Three more breaths, wherever you are in your back bend. One more breath. Release that. We're going to come back to child's pose. Press into your hands, knees wide, hips go back. Ah, let it go. Couple of deep breaths. Walk your hands back towards your knees. If you need child's pose a little longer, stay. And then bring your hips to either side. We're gonna bring your legs around in front of you. So we are going to do double pigeon because Christiana is in the house today. So we're gonna start with the right shin facing the front of your yoga mat. Now your left leg, ideally in this pose, the heel goes on the knee, the knee goes on the heel. This does not work anatomically for all of us. So if this doesn't work for you, one, you might have a gap here. You can place a block at any height here. Or if this is uncomfortable for you, bring your left shin in front, whichever works with your, your body. Feet are flexed, both of them. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, reach, 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 reach. And then descend down to the floor wherever you are. Again, you can grab a block, place it under your forehead if you like. No strain on your neck. But the whole time you're in this fire log pose or double pigeon, your feet are flexed. Two more breaths. Walk your hands back up, roll on up. We're gonna just switch it up. So lean back, put the other leg on top or other leg in front. It might be an entirely different experience on this side. So take your time setting up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward and fold. Hips stay back on the mat. Feet stay flexed. Two more breaths here. Walk your hands back up. This time take your legs out in front of you. Inward spiral each thigh. So you can either kind of grab your butt and lift it or just roll it in. I prefer to roll my thighs. It's a personal preference. <laughs> flex your feet toward you. So as you flex your feet, your thighs are active. You should feel your quadriceps engage. Keep that. Inhale, reach up. Maybe grab your strap or towel and wrap it around your feet and pull your heart forward or reach for your ankles, shins, feet, whatever you like, and then focus on your breath. Think of your spine like a bendy straw, and every time you inhale, can you straighten that straw a little bit more? And then as you exhale, allow your torso to melt towards your thighs a little more. And as you inhale, straighten that straw. I hope you guys are enjoying this playlist. I am loving every song coming on. Two more breaths. Slowly begin to roll it up. Bend your knees. We're gonna make our way onto our back. So anything you want for Shavasana, like an eye pillow or a towel, sweatshirt, blanket, take it with you. And we're gonna lower onto our spine, have a block handy. So from here, grab your block, lift your hips, place the block underneath your hips. If you do not have a block, 
We're coming into shoulder stand in a moment. So you can get there now by doing this. If you've got your block, stay here for a moment. You can play with walking your legs forward and see how that feels. I love how this feels in my body. So I like to come here. If it doesn't feel right, walk your feet in and take your legs up for shoulder stand. If it feels good, take your arms overhead. And stay here as long as you like. We're all gonna meet in a shoulder stand. And when you're ready, you can send your legs up to the sky. Your ankles, knees, and hips are in one straight line. Two more breaths here. And then slowly bring your feet down to the mat. If you've got a block underneath you, when your feet hit the floor, press into the feet to remove the block. And we'll all meet on our spine. Draw your knees back to the chest. Rock from side to side. And either just continue doing this or grab the outer edges of your feet and find a happy baby. Do whatever feels organically good in your body. And then come back to center with your knees. Let your left leg go long. Just draw your right knee into the chest and take a spinal twist. Guide that knee across your body. Stay here a few breaths. So for those of you that are actually playing the playlist, the YouTube playlist, before Shavasana, you're going to want to forward it to the very last song. It's an amazing, magical song. I think you'll really enjoy it. There's a little hint of you two in it. Come on back to center and switch it up. Draw your left knee in and then guide that knee across your body. So come on back to your back. Again, if you've got the playlist going, you can switch it now to the last song. It's called Heart Sutra. Otherwise, wrap your arms around your knees. Give your knees a squeeze. Lift your nose up toward the knees. Big inhale. As you exhale, let it go into Shavasana. Let your feet flop open. Let your legs be wide. Let your arms just kind of float away from your body and allow the floor to just fully support you. Let, just let your body dissolve onto the mat. And then take a big inhale through your nose. A letting go side, melting a little deeper into Shavasana.
Slowly begin to bring some awareness back to the body. Wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. On your next inhale, reach your arms over your head onto the floor for one final stretch from the fingertips, down your spine, your hips, your legs to your toes. Big inhale. Exhale, draw the knees into your chest. Gently rock from side to side. Allow your knees to just fall over to the right and just pause there in a fetal position. Don't go away. Just take a moment and just notice how you feel. And when then you feel ready, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. And when you get there, close the eyes, draw the hands together at your heart. Quoting Bono, we're one, but we're not the same. We get to carry each other, carry each other one. One love. Take a big inhale through your nose, fill up with breath. Open your mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Do that one more time, big inhale, fill up. Open your mouth, let it go. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. It is going to be a beautiful day. May the sun always shine through your heart, into your smile, and warm your soul. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining. Allie, when did YouTube get a, a band? <laughs> when did YouTube get a band? YouTube. <laughs> Was it YouTube oh, geez, you were talking about? I don't about? know. Uh, or, or no, you YouTube. YouTube.